all wrestlers should be doing this if they wish to see improvement. Practicing in the offseason is essential if you wish to create those major jumps regardless of the sport you play. I plan to show off what it's like wrestling as a high school athlete preparing for his first competition after Christmas break. As you can see here, we're cleaning up the mats, getting it ready to be used up, and getting a quick good sweat. Making sure the mats are clean are going to help prevent skin diseases and things like that. Okay, so as you guys can see, we finished mopping the mats. Um, you know, currently it's December 24th, 1130, 12 o'clock-ish. Uh, I'm going to get a quick Christmas Eve practice in right now. Probably hang out for a little bit and then get another Christmas Eve practice in right before we go to bed. And, uh, yeah, we'll get right to it. All lies is on me Won't tell no lies Won't hold my tongue Don't cry for me This Chicago nigga for friends, I hang with the vultures Big ass toaster, hit your whip and flip it over Big old nigga, he's a big old goofy, Rudy Goldberg Jump off in that lane, you gon' get put on a poster My Ferrari F8, Lamborghini Roaster I turned 10 bricks into 12, them birds had a growth spurt We gon' do some shopping later, I'ma need some dough first I just got some head and a ghost, and I ghost her Yeah, yeah, out of here, your boyfriend a gopher I seen him out with her and pretend like I don't know her I can't do no features with you nigga, that's a no sir Hardest nigga on earth, I'm not really from earth We gon' dial 911, I let off that clone first I put in my own work, better do your homework I can hear that money calling, I pick up the first ring What you gon' charge an old man for that pussy, this girl don't Chicago, hurt me Gang leaders with me all times. I don't know who I fucked last night. I got Alzheimer's. I don't know who them hoes is, man. They all lying. Brody, tell me who them hoes is, man. They all fine. Hunting hooligans, and we with the foolish this I'm anti Semitic. I just fucked a Jewish bitch. I just fucked Scooter's bitch, and we ran her like a lip. Just got pregnant in the threesome. So whose baby is it? Whose baby? My niggas putting belt to ass, pull up with the switches This ain't Jimmy Butler, but the heat got extensions This ain't Columbine, but we came in with the trend Hey, I hate to stop you right there Just remember to leave a like, subscribe Let's keep moving with the video Currently, Christmas night, December 25th the Family's upstairs Not me though I'm downstairs Running A lot we finished our workout though. It was a solid two, 2.25 miles at a eight miles per hour speed. And you know, after all, all the working out, we were able to just chill out, hang out with the cousins, enjoy the last little bit of Christmas before the last day of making weight tomorrow. Got one day until competition. So tomorrow we gotta weigh in 122 after Christmas plus two plus two allowance, which you know that comes in clutch. I'm gonna be wrestling in the Damascus Holiday Tournament. So day one it's gonna be duels where we'll probably have about four or five matches, all very winnable. Day two gotta make 123. It's gonna be tournament style, mostly the same kids. Should be light work. Let's go. Let's go ahead and weight check. Okay. You know, two and a half over, that's not bad. Uh, very manageable. I got practice today at four. I would go running right now, but it's currently pouring outside. So probably save the run until later tonight if I need it. We'll see, we'll see how the practice goes. Hopefully I lose like, you know, pound and a half. I'll be half a pound over. Maybe we can, you know, set it home, run some Fortnite. You know how it is. Practice is done. Solid uh, hour and a half practice. We're chilling on weight, only 0.3 over. So we have to go home, just hang out, have fun. Wake up tomorrow, weigh in, wrestle, kick some ass, and uh, get my hand raised. What's up, guys? We're back. Um, we showered up, weight's good. You know, we got an early morning tomorrow, so I'm really, honestly, I'm probably just gonna stick around. I'm gonna, I gotta clean up a little bit after. Uh, 
Christmas because this place is a, an absolute mess. Get our food together. Um, we got to get our clothes, you know, organized, get our uh, school gear together and uh, get ready to kick butt tomorrow. It's currently 6.50 right now. Day of tournament. Uh, didn't didn't get the greatest sleep, you know, cutting late, so I'm kind of tossing and turning a little bit, but I feel pretty rested enough. I'm ready to go wrestle, so I'll, I'll, cut, I'll just cut right to the tournament. We arrived at Damascus Holiday Tournament, and we're walking into the Ox Gym, walking straight into the gymnasium with all the mats set up, we're ready to go, about to get warmed up. We meet up with some of the guys on the team, get warmed up, finish up, walk around, get locked in into the zone, and... Get our thumb taped up. We're good. We're getting warmed up, locked in to wrestle. And with our first match coming up, first match starts off a little bit slow. We hand fight for a bit, snap downs, throw a few snaps, clubs. And then I try and go into my drag but miss it. That's when I hit my fireman's dunk straight into my first two-point takedown. That's when I immediately lock up a cross wrist and hit a hazard tilt for a full count. I then cut them so that I'm able to work back to my bread and butter on neutral. Throwing in some fakes, some snaps, some down blocks just to get him moving a lot. I get in on a leg and finish off my double leg. The second period starts and I decide to choose neutral again. And we hand fight some more. I hit my drag, miss the leg again. But he then reshoots and I'm able to sprawl and cover hips quickly so that he can't score but I can. I then score another count with my hazard tilt to where I let him belly out and I run a bar for the pin. Going straight into my second match, I take my kid down and hit him with a quick tilt before we go out of bounds to where it's reset. I break him down flat here to try and turn him some more with my near side tilts, but unfortunately he breaks free and I'm able, unable to get points. Here he tries to shoot, but we get into a little scramble to where it goes out of bounds. He almost took me down though. We hand fight some more here before I fire off another shot, miss it unfortunately, but we keep moving, keep hand fighting until I'm able to re-drag and take him down here. Second period starts and I quickly nice. escape out nice. of bottom to lock up a quick crotch lift. Unfortunately though, that misses, nice. so I lock nice up a cradle. Shot. I don't go for the fall though here, and I quickly run a bar for the pin. Third match, I come out just to collect a forfeit. There was nobody on the other team to wrestle. And then my fourth match, I come in against this one kid from a fairly small team, but he knew how to move and hand fight. He gets in on my leg, surprisingly, and un almost finishes on me but we go out of bounds and he is unable to get the takedown. We reset and then we continue to hand fight before I hit him with a drag but miss. We keep wrestling and keep wrestling until he takes another shot to where I break him down flat and almost go for a cradle. A leg cradle is locked up here to where I get the count and eventually the fall. The last match of day one was against a kid from Glen Elk. The match started off a little bit scrappy but I was able to move him around, snap him down, get him moving so that I can get in on my shot and finish it on the mat. I then throw in my half Nelson for a quick stick in the first period. And now, back here at home. It was a long day of wrestling, a lot of great competition. You know, it felt really good to get out there and work what I know, what I'm good at. You know, getting to my turns, which I normally don't get to a lot, you know, that, that really built that confidence in me, knowing that I'm able to hit it in the future. Tomorrow, though, tomorrow we have one more duel, which will determine where I'm seated for the official tournament. They'll draw us into a bracket. And, you know, depending on where I'm seated, you know, is when I'll find out what my match is. And we'll just keep going from there. Keep, you know, firing off what I'm good at. Keep having the more dominant offense. You know, the better defense. Getting out on bottom instantly. Nobody's riding me. And then we're going to go We're gonna go claim another back-to-back. -back. I won it last year. We're going back to win it this year. I'm only sitting around here, you know. My weight's good. I don't have to go run, which is, you know, pretty lucky for me because it's pouring rain outside right now. Get some good get some good rest that I missed out on last night to help prepare me for tomorrow. I'm gonna cut it here. We're gonna go straight into the tournament tomorrow. Um, you know, walking in, weighing in, all that stuff. And, you know, we'll fire it off tomorrow. Well guys, it's the morning of day two. It's just about seven AM. We're all dressed, we're ready, we got the landing gear on. We're gonna head straight to the tournament. Start with our warm up and then our first duel. And then go right into the tournament. Okay guys, so we just got to the school where I'm gonna be wrestling at. Uh, let's get a good warm up in. You know, let's you know, let's just be ready to go out and compete. With day one beginning, we're able to get weighed in, warmed up, and shoes taped up before we go out to collect our first forfeit of the last duel. 
What up, guys? So wrestling's done for me right now. Finished last duel with a forfeit. Um, I don't wrestle again until 12, so I'm looking for a room to just take a nap in. Hopefully the wrestling room, which is, it's locked. Well, there goes the plan of napping in the wrestling room. For the, onto the tournament, I guess. Since I was unable to find a place to take a nap, I decided to walk around and watch some of the JV wrestling, as well as grab some food just to refuel for later in the day. I then decided to help coach up some other guys on our team, which some of them squeaked out to win. With match one of the tournaments starting, we begin initially with hand fighting, to where I move the guy to get into my attacks. I then pick him up and then finally finish it with a double leg. My opponent then tries to hit a sit out, but I hit him with a suck back for a full count. He bellies out to where I throw a glare ride in half and get another full set of backs. He then tries to go out of bounds, but I throw him in a tilt and get another set of backs. We then eventually go out of bounds, but not before I get another three count at the edge of the mat. We get reset back in the middle of the mat, and I hit another suck back for a count. This ended the match as a tech fall, and that was my first win of the day in the quarterfinals. At the beginning of my semifinals match, I'm hand fighting with this one kid and go for a drag and miss it, but I snap him down and eventually get him on his hands and knees to where I score my two points right here. Moving on, I hit him in a tilt to where I almost get taken down here, but eventually we scrap out. I go for an arm spin, but we're back in neutral on my feet. The second period starts more hand fighting. I go for a reattack, but I at least get the escape. But we continue to hand fight here, and I eventually score off of his attack here. But I cut him, and I decide to go neutral again to where I attempt a fireman's carry, but eventually slip into a Merkle for another cheap two. I cut him again and then hit him with a nice duck under to where I score another set of two from another angle. Here it is, not duck under. I then run a barbed wire to get another full count before cutting him and deciding to anchor pick him on the edge here. Yes, Hadley. I choose to cut him once again and hand fight with him back in the center of the mat. I get him moving and faking. Eventually, I fake oh him enough God. to get him on his knees to where I can score a takedown here. I chose to cut him again to where I then threw him and put him straight to his back. Unfortunately, I didn't get the pin here, but I did get the tech fall, which resulted in me passing on to the finals. With my finals match beginning, I knew this kid would be tough. We hand fight for a little bit, but he throws a fireman, but I turn it into my own shot. Scrambling a little bit here, I finally get my takedown and ride him out a little bit before getting a cheap two point turn. My opponent tries to stand up and escape, but I might return him not once, but twice. The second period begins and I choose bottom. The kid tries to throw a leg in, but I quickly hit him with the switch and put him on bottom and me on top. I ride him tightly on top for a little bit before getting another cheap tilt turn. We choose neutral in the third period and I'm faking him a little bit, we're hand fighting, and then eventually I go for a drag but miss it, and then finally hit him with my bread and butter and my short drag to where I can then crack down. We get into a little bit of a scramble, but I finish it out on top with my two points. I then go for another cheap turn on the edge before getting reset back in the side. After being reset, I ride him tightly on the top to where he hits a grand roll and I hit a quick suck back for another full count. With a few seconds left, I decided to cut my opponent just to be safe and that concludes the match, majoring him 12-0, becoming the Damascus Holiday Tournament Champion. And with the weekend done and out of the way, we're back at home, back in the wrestling room, just hanging out, relaxing, hitting our dynamic stretch just to keep our flexibility up. That concludes the tournament section of my season. We now roll right into the dual meet section. That's where we have our, our conference duels, uh, events like Gilman duels, and a bunch of other duels against teams from Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland, Pennsylvania, things like that. I have some teams from like Massachusetts. These videos, I plan on doing them through the rest of my high school season, going into college, events here and there of like signing day type things. If you like, if you like the video, subscribe, leave a like, search me up on my TikTok, my Instagram. They're both James Hanley Wrestles. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.